hello students the topic is bending stresses how to evaluate bending stresses in beams basically beam whenever is subjected to any type of loading whether it is a point load or it is a uniformly distributed load these beams are subjected to bending stresses because bending stresses are nothing but the function of loads so loads are responsible for inducing bending stresses within the body of the beam now to evaluate the bending stresses the basic equation of bending stress is m by i equal to fb by y so i shall now explain the terms involved in this basic equation of calculation of bending stresses m stands for maximum bending moment value whenever the beam is loaded maximum bending moment value we have to evaluate calculate by plotting bending moment diagram i is the function of shape of beam whether it is a rectangular beam with dimensions b by d this i value will be bd cube by 12 if it is a circular section then i value will be equal to pi by 64 into d to the power 4 if it is a hollow section and so on so this moment of inertia i <coughs> depends upon the shape of the beam this fb is the abbreviation which i am using for bending stresses and y is the distance of neutral axis and extreme fiber either from top or from bottom now what is neutral axis neutral axis is nothing but a plane assumed with zero stresses it is our assumption now this value this is yt i will abbreviate this as yb maximum of this if i am taking here as y then i can easily calculate the value of bending stress fb as m into y upon i in this way the bending stresses are evaluated calculated now bending stresses depends upon the shape of the beam it depends upon the type of loading it depends upon the span of the beam and so on so after calculation of this bending stresses we can easily calculate the other parameters now after bending stresses we shall shift <coughs> to a topic this is degree of static indeterminacy and degree of kinematic indeterminacy how this is related with the calculation of bending stresses now let us take an example of determinate beam in this determinate beam these are the three reactions ra rb rc and dosi degree of static indeterminacy in this is zero why because the equations of equilibrium which we are dealing with summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero summation moment equal to zero these are the three equations of equilibrium and unknowns here which i am abbreviating by u are three so equations of equilibrium are three if i am considering the horizontal reactions acting on this beam if i am considering these horizontal reactions then obviously dosi is equal to zero but in most of the cases we neglect this actual deformations horizontal reactions and we consider the equations of equilibrium as two so we have three unknowns with two equations then in this case dosi is equal to one so these bending stresses calculations are to be done only when first of all we have calculated the reactions 
So, whether it is a determinate or indeterminate beam, we have to first of all evaluate the reactions, then only we can calculate the bending stresses. Thank you very much.